Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about simplifying algebraic expressions. So now we're going to take some examples, all right? So we're going to simplify these and get them in the most simplest form we possibly can, okay? So we're going to simplify each algebraic expression. Okay? So for A. A we have 3x minus 2y plus x minus 3y minus 7. Okay. The marker is not doing so hot. Well, the first thing is I want to rearrange and put our like terms together, okay? This is the commutative property of addition. So I'm going to put all my x's first. So we have 3x here first. And then I bring that x plus 1x next to it. And sometimes I put little dashes or dots underneath to show that I've used that term so I don't forget any. Now, let's deal with the y's. First, we have the minus 2y. And then we have the minus 3y. And lastly, we get our constant over there at the end, minus 7. And we brought everything over. And like I said, this is the commutative property of addition. Okay? And then, now we combine our like terms. 3x and x become a 4x. Right, we're adding them together. A minus 2y and a minus 3y is a minus 5y. And then we have a minus 7. And that step was just simplify. And so now, we've done. We can't break it up any or simplify it anymore. And so we're, we're finished. Let's do another one. B. We have 2r minus 5 times 3 minus r plus 4. So if 2r minus 5 times 3 minus r plus 4. So pause this video, try it yourself, and then compare answers. So pause it for a second and see what you do. All right, so now let's go. Well, first, my first step is I'm going to actually distribute this 5 into the 3 and the r. Okay, so everything comes over, the 2r, which is written first, now we have a minus 5 times a 3, which is a minus 15, and minus 5 times minus r is a positive, right, two negatives make a positive, positive 5r, and then we just have the plus 4. There we use the distributive property. The distributive property. From there, okay, we want to rearrange and put our like terms next to each other. So, let's bring our r's together first. So, 2r, and I put a dot underneath each one that I've used so I don't forget it. And then we have a plus a 5r. Now, let's go to the constants. Minus 15 is next, and then plus a 4. We brought all the terms down, and we use the commutative property of addition. Okay? And lastly, we just need to combine our like terms and simplify. 2r plus 5r is a 7r. And then negative 15 plus 4 is a minus 11. And we simplify. Okay? That's it. Okay. So let's do another example. We got c here. m n minus 5 m plus 3 m n plus n. Okay. So again, pause this video, see if you can do it yourself, and then resume and see if we can compare answers, all right? And while you're doing that, don't forget to subscribe and like this channel, even comment down below, or like the video and comment below. These things help us make more 
videos and help make more free lessons for you. So thanks for your help. Okay. So what I want to do first, okay, is I'm going to rearrange this stuff. Okay. So now we're going to rearrange and um, put our like terms together. So I see we have an MN here. So I'm going to put an MN. Then we have a 3MN. That's another like term. Now we're going to put our M's next. So we have just a minus 5M and then plus an N. That's all of them. And this was the commutative property. Commutative property of addition. All right. Now, from there, let's go simplify. 1MN plus 3MN is a 4MN. Combine our like terms. We just now have the five minus 5M. Nothing else to combine it with, plus an n. We simplified, and we're done. We got the right answer. So, did you get the same one? Let me know. All right. Moving on to the next example. Let's go erase some of this. All right. For our last one here, we're going to simplify a formula. Okay. So we're simplifying. a formula. Okay? So we know a rectangle uh, has length L and width W and has a perimeter P. So our formula for that for the perimeter is P equals L plus W plus L plus W. And you get a visual here. If we can see that. Again, this marker is dying as well. All right, we got one length here, another length, we got the widths here, and we add them up. Length plus width plus length plus width gets us, right, gets us our perimeter, okay? So now let's go simplify this, okay? So first what I'm going to do is put my like terms together, L's first, so L plus L plus W plus W. And that property was the commutative property. Commutative property of addition. Okay. Now we're going to combine our like terms and simplify. So L plus L is 2L. And W plus W is 2 W. That's we're simplifying here. Simplify. Lastly, notice that we have a 2 here and a 2 there. We can pull that 2 out and make a parenthesis. We have L plus W. Now we have P equals 2 times L plus W, and that is actually the distributive property. And now we're done. We've got the simplest form. We simplified that formula for the perimeter rectangle, and it's P equals 2 times, in parentheses, L plus W. All right. Again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It helps us grow or dislike. But again, free for you to do, and we can keep making more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use minute math. Minute math. Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math, MinuteMathTutor.com.